Flying Brian is back on another day of flying fun and adventure. As you join me, I have completed my pre-takeoff checks and I am ready for departure. The weather here at Monroe is VFR. The weather in Asheboro right now is low IFR with 400 foot overcast and 3 miles of visibility. Rain, clouds and fog have persisted in the region for the last 24 hours. The forecast calls for the weather to rapidly move out of the area to the northeast and conditions to improve throughout the morning. The forecast is holding true as conditions here at Monroe were IFR just an hour ago and have improved to marginal VFR. Today's flight will be under an IFR flight plan. The route I have requested is Monroe direct to Locus, Victor 409 to Gantz, direct Ashboro. Because there is no control tower here at Monroe, I will depart and pick up my instrument clearance in the air. As I approach the end of the runway, I know from radio calls that there are two aircraft in the traffic pattern. One just reported turning base to final and the other is on downwind. There's the one on final that is about to land. But remember, there's still an aircraft on the downwind, which I cannot see, so I turn and position the airplane for a better view. While not visible in the video, I do have a visual on the aircraft and it looks like I do have enough space to depart. Except, he just announced that he's going to do a practice engine out, which means he's going to be doing a short approach and turn directly toward the end of the runway. Based on that radio call, I will need to wait for him to land. If you look carefully, you can just start to see the landing aircraft on the left side of the screen, a little over halfway up. Once he clears the runway, I can safely depart. I just heard his radio call saying, clear of the runway, plus I can see him down there, so off we go. I make my radio call, letting traffic in the area know I am departing runway 23. Do a quick lights camera action, which is landing light on, transponder on, and fuel pump on. Roll onto the runway, line up on the center line, close the side vent window, and smoothly throttle up to full power and accelerate down the center line of the runway. There's liftoff. to climb power of 25 inches of manifold pressure and 2500 RPM.
extract the landing gear now that there's no more usable runway ahead. I turn left onto the crosswind leg. Flaps. Continue the turn to downwind. If you look, you can see the runway out the left window. That button I just pushed switched me over to Charlotte Approach Control. And you can see my finger pressing the push to talk button as I call Charlotte and pick up my IFR clearance. My clearance is easier than expected. He cleared me, direct Ashboro, climb and maintain 5,000. And we are approaching the cloud base. Here I am setting the squawk code the controller gave me in the radar transponder. Okay, we have our clearance, we are in radar contact and officially flying on an IFR flight plan. None too soon as I start to enter the base of the clouds. Just climbed through 3,000 and we're punching in and out of the clouds. Because I've been cleared direct Ashboro, I reset my GPS for the new route. The 
change of route is minor. Instead of direct locus, Victor 409 to Gantz and direct, it's simply direct to Ashboro. above the clouds now and what a beautiful view. Coming up on 5,000 feet, which means I need to think about leveling off. And that's going to do it for this video. Look for part two that shows the arrival at Ashboro. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching.